Hi, this is Eric, and this is The Gutters. So I had this whole thing um, planned out where I was going to comment or make some comments about a tweet that Amy Meberson sent out during C2E2. And while I was looking at some things last night regarding that, getting ready to do that, it occurred to me that perhaps I had already done this sort of commentary that I wanted to do. And so I went back and and listened to some uh, old Gutters episodes, and yes, indeed, I basically did. So, but as luck would have it, I got my newspaper this morning, and on the front page of my sleepy little town's daily newspaper is the headline at the very top, A Hero for Everyone, Free Comic Book Day Hits the Region. And then there's, then there's this uh, insert in the paper that comes out every Thursday. It's the Arts and Entertainment insert. And they have a big superhero-esque uh, front page on this thing. But the, the big headline on the, on the very first page of this inset is Comic Books for Everyone. And then there's a short little article. <laughs> Mostly pictures, but uh, there's there's some there's some words along with it about Free Comic Book Day and interviewing a couple area comic book shop owners, one in my town and then one in uh, the town about 30 miles away where I was born and raised, which I did not know had this comic book shop. So that's that's interesting. Anyway, um, they talk about this. This uh, the, the free comic book day and, and how more and more people are getting into comics. They talk specifically about how more female readers are coming into comics. And then one of the comic book, comic book owners, the one from, from uh, my hometown, talked about how um, basically, here, let me read it now that I'm at a stoplight says here, comics have served typically been for males. Now there are a lot more female readers. They want a well-written, solid story arc, he says. And that kind of bugged me because, you know, so do I. <laughs> it's not just female readers who want this stuff. Uh, a lot of us male readers do too. So thanks for throwing me into the stereotype, buddy. Regardless, that's not what this is about. What struck me was the, the whole bit that the com- uh, free comic book day... Uh, was even in the newspaper on the front page, even for this small... I mean, this town is is more arts-oriented than others in the area. Regardless, I just... Being a comic book book reader and fan and collector for, you know, just over 35 years now, and despite the fact that the superhero movies are huge in the world these days, and we've got so many TV series that are based on comic books now. Despite all that, it's still weird to me to see comic books being so presented in such an open fashion, I guess. You know, such as the daily newspaper in my town. Just comics have, and the comic book culture have become this this thing that I would not have recognized 35 years ago. You know, back when I first started getting comics, there was one comic book shop, and we were lucky to have it, I think, in in the area that I lived. You know, it was just, it was, it was just this thing that a small group of your friends usually was into, and nobody else was, and comic books were kind of looked down upon, and, and you were a nerd, or you were a geek, and you were picked on, you know, all that stereotypical stuff. It's just weird to me to take all of that, all that memory, all that experience, and then compare it to now, where geek culture is kind of in the forefront. Not kind of, it is in the forefront. It's just bizarre to me. Anyway. So, like I said, like I mentioned, uh, Free Comic Book Day is coming up. Uh, This is April 30th, 2015, as I record this. In just a couple days, 
on May 2nd, 2015 is the free comic book day of the year. So this is, this is my annual reminder of, you know, go, go have fun, go to the free comic book day, get your free comic books, but, you know, please support your local comic shops and actually buy some things from them. But more important than that is take this opportunity, if you can, to expose someone to comic books. You know, a friend or a loved one who's not into it or maybe has some questions about things, drag them along, you know, nicely. <laughs> not coerce, but, but convince them to come with you. Uh, but try to, you know, get them involved in comics because comics can't survive on, on the same old fogies like me forever. We need some new blood. We need to get more and more people interested to keep this, this medium alive and well and, and uh, in perpetuity. That is my hope. That is my free comic book day wish for you. If you'd like to leave feedback, you may do so by emailing me at longboxreview at gmail.com. You can also leave comments at the blog, longboxreview.com. And there are other ways to get a hold of me. Just go to longboxreview.com slash feedback. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.